New at 10 reaction to a public high school in Palo Alto coming under fire. Several students there claim they were victims of violent and racist bullying. Good evening. I'm Christina Rendon. And I'm Andre Senior. Those parents' allegations include repeated racist language, violent physical attacks, and administrators not doing enough to protect students. New at 10 KTVU Zach Sauce is live at Gun High with what he has learned. Zach. Good evening. The allegations are startling, as you mentioned, from one student saying that he was repeatedly called the N-word to bullying so severe in another case that a student was sent to the hospital. Quote, pummeled with fists and kicks, just one of the alleged attacks detailed in a court filing submitted by attorneys representing the parents of six boys at Gunn High School in Palo Alto. The document detailing how they were allegedly the victims of violent and racist bullying. In one incident, attorneys saying several of the boys were ganged up on in a bathroom. Quote, the boys screamed for help in the bathroom, but no help came. One sent to the emergency room with a bleeding ear and two others to the nurse. That same day, another student from the group allegedly attacked before phys ed class, resulting in head injuries. The students responsible suspended. Friday, some students just learning about what took place. Honestly, pretty surprised because, like, I would assume that there has to be bullying to some degree, like, at any school, but I would, didn't really realize it like the span of it. According to the court filing, the onslaught of racial slurs and bullying began in September. The targeted students include one who is black, repeatedly called the N-word, and five others who are of European or Middle Eastern descent. Attorneys say the students' parents contacted the school and despite assurances that their children would be protected, the hazing only got worse. At one point, the students taking two weeks off from school to avoid the attacks. As a parent, you know, I, I don't want anything like this to 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 affect my kids at the same token i don't want this to affect to any kids to that matter this is not the first time gun high school in the district has come under fire two separate sexual assaults including taunting were reported at the school in 2017 and 2019 Gun High School principal Wendy Stratton responding to the latest accusations in a statement Friday saying, quote, Palo Alto Unified School District takes reports of bullying and harassment seriously. One request for a transfer was granted, although the recipient declined unless his friends were also transferred. The aggressors were immediately disciplined consistent with protocols and protective measures are in place. And the district, the families rather, are asking for $25,000 in damages and for the district to put into place better measures to address bullying. The district has until next month to respond. For now, we're live in Palo Alto. Zach Sass, KTVU, Fox 2 News. All right, Zach, thank you.